Hello everybody, my name is Vani Gupta. In today's video, we are going to learn new English vocabulary words which will help you to diversify your vocabulary and will also help you to clear CLAT and other judiciary exams. Okay, so let's learn some new words. So the first word for the day is grim, meaning very serious or gloomy. So when somebody is very serious, sad and uh, is not happy about something so that is a grim it is a type of expression sentence his expression was grim when he told them that he had lost his job so jab uska expression he was very serious when he told them ki ab uski job chali gayi hai okay so the next word is renewed renewed bahut hi common word hai humne kai baar use kiya hai and i'm sure sabko iska matlab pata hoga so meaning resume an activity after an interruption so because of some problem because of some interruption when an activity or when a thing gets paused and when you restart it so and when you resume it so that is called renewed sentence i have renewed my subscription to the evening paper so maine apne evening paper ki subscription wapas chalu kar di hai i have just renewed it all right the next word is ascribed meaning to believe or say that something is caused by something else so basically ascribed is when something is going on in your life and you put the and you give entire credit to something else for what is going on so that is called it as ascribed jo bhi aapke sath ho raha hai us cheez ka pura credit ya pura blame koi achhi cheez ho rahi hai to uska credit aur kuch bura ho raha hai to uska blame jab aap kisi aur cheez pe dal dete hain that is called as ascribed sentence he ascribed his failure to bad luck so he had just put the entire blame on bad luck for his failure he thinks that because his luck is not going on so he has not achieved any success okay the next word is bug meaning oppose or resist so when you oppose something when you don't like something when you don't agree to something that is called bugged sentence he bugged the system so he opposed the system he did not uh, want to follow the system usko nahi samajh mein aa raha tha system ka jo bhi ho raha hai all right the next word is crumble meaning break or fall apart into small fragments especially as part of a process of deterioration so when something just breaks and fall into small pieces small fragments and basically it is just a process when something is on the verge of the which is kharab ho jati hai bilkul deteriorate hoti hai so that is called crumble sentence the empire began to crumble during the 13th century jo pura empire tha big started Uh, falling apart, so it started just breaking into small fragments during the 13th century. The next word is search, meaning. So basically, search has got two meanings. The first meaning is of a crowd or natural force move suddenly and powerfully forward or upward. Basically, कोई crowd या कोई force जो कि बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ रहे हो that is called surge and the next meaning is a sudden or abrupt strong increase jab koi cheez achanak se kisi cheez ki intensity badh jaye that is called surge sentence the surge in the power supply knocked out all the computers so the sudden increase in the power supply has just uh, uh, made every computer inoperative Okay, so the next word is hammered, meaning very drunk. So somebody who's very drunk, that we call it hammered. Sentence: We went to a wine bar and got totally hammered. So we went to a bar and then we got very drunk. So it is like we went to a wine bar and got totally hammered. Okay, the next word is pulled off. So pulled off is basically an idiom also. It's an idiom only. so its meaning is to kai baar aapne suna hoga log bolte hain ki tumne ye cheez bahut acche se pull off kar di you were able to pull off so well so basically uh, the meaning of pull off is to carry out despite of difficulties so no matter 
how this situation is no matter uh, how many difficulties you have to face like in uske baad bhi when you are able to carry out uh, things very nicely that is called pulled off sentence i am sure you will pull off the competition i am sure you will be amazing you will be able to do the competition very well okay so these were the words for the day now it's time for the quiz please write the meaning of the following words the first word is preposterous second unabated third turf fourth palpable all right now time for answers the first word is preposterous means senseless utterly foolish somebody you think who's silly senseless never uses his brain is foolish so that is called preposterous unabated being at full strength of force koi cheez jo ki puri apni taakat ke sath ki ja rahi hai full force ke sath ki ja rahi hai puri taiyari ke sath ki ja rahi hai that is called unabated the third word is turf so basically turf ha has two meanings turf ka matlab grass bhi hota hai if you have written grass then grass is also correct but uh, the other meaning written here is for someone to leave somewhere jab aap kisi ko force karke kahi aur bolte ho jaane ke liye when you go when you say someone to leave that is called turf the fourth word is palpable capable of being touched or felt to koi cheez jo ki you think can be you you can feel something you can uh, you can touch something so that is called palpable okay so that's all for today thank you very much please like and keep sharing